it's the 1st of March and it's my birthday month and would you believe it I have already received my very first freebie I haven't claimed it yet but it has arrived it's from Krispy Kreme they are offering me a free donut and what I've had to do is download the offer in the app and store it in the wallet section of the app I've probably got the whole month to claim it, although it doesn't actually have an expiry date on it, but it's probably wise to claim it during the month of March. So, over the next 31 days, I will be keeping this diary of all the freebies that I receive. Now, will I claim them all? Well, I hope so. It's March the 3rd and I have claimed my Krispy Kreme donut. I got a raspberry glazed and it cost £2.65. Or at least it would have done if I paid. And the other thing is they give me the survey to fill out and if I do that I can claim another one. So the birthday mm -hmm. freebies just keep on coming. Now since I received the coupon for the Krispy Kreme donut I haven't had any other birthday offer so far. One that I'm waiting for that I get every year is double points on boots and it's for the entire month of your birthday month so in my case March but we are now on the 3rd of March and it hasn't arrived yet so I'm missing out on vital points but I will enjoy this later and here it is I took it into work with me but didn't eat it so I brought it home again and it's got a little bit crushed but I am having the midnight munchies and I am going to enjoy this lovely donut right now what are you saying, dear? I know what you're saying. You're saying, why don't you subscribe to Paul and Marcus's show on YouTube? Please subscribe. It's the 4th of March and I have received a free meal voucher to use at the Bee Feeder. Luckily, there is one in Uxbridge, so we're going to go in and see what I can get. Well, that was quite a meal, wasn't it? Eighteen ninety nine for the mixed grill, and we were able to share it. Well, at least I was able to share it with Paul, and we also got a a few side dishes as well, which we paid for. But I basically saved eighteen ninety nine at the beef eater here. Another birthday treat. Paul, I see you have joined me now in my birthday episode. Well, it's not really my birthday episode, but it's my birthday freebies episode. And we've come to the Red Lion in Hillingdon, which is a fuller's pub, and they have offered me 25% yeah. of food and drink, yes. And this is an offer that I receive every year because I sign up for their emails. And a little trick, which it may work today, it may not, is that if you leave your credit card details behind the bar so in other words start up a tab, tab. then you'll get 25% off for your entire visit because it's a one-off thing yeah. so if you get your bill pay for it you can't use it again so we are going to go in and have a little spot of lunch to get 25% off That was a delicious meal and it tasted all the better because it was cheaper. Now, we are walking into Uxbridge because, oh gosh, what? Sorry. Sorry. Oh, I nearly stepped on something nasty. <laughs> so, we're walking into Uxbridge? Yes, we are walking into Uxbridge because I have another birthday offer to claim today. And while we're filming this, it is March the 9th, Saturday. And the offer is a free pint at the Queen's Head which is a Green King pub and it's because I sign up 
for their emails that they send me loyalty stuff. So I actually had a free drink from them a few weeks ago as well. So why not? Paul will have to pay for his. We claimed our free drink at the Queen's Head. Now, Paul, you actually had the free one, didn't you? Because it was only a certain selection on pints. So you got Bira Moretti? Yes, Bira Moretti. Bira Moretti. <laughs> yes. And I got a half pint of Guinness that I paid for. But um, your Bira Moretti would have cost £6.20. So that was quite a saving, wasn't it? My birthday has now passed. So I have received all the offers that I will get. And I'm going to cash all of them in today, if I possibly can. So first up is Subway, where I can get a free cookie. Then Costa, where I can pick up a slice of cake. At Lidl, they are offering me a donut. I can get a sweet bake of any kind I like at Greg's. And finally, if their app works, I will be able to claim a Whopper at Burger King. So let's see what I can get. And at the end, we will tot up the total of freebies from this month and see how much I saved. Well, that was quite a haul. And it just goes to show that I think it really does pay to be loyal. Loyal to everyone when you're out shopping. So the total amount that I saved was £49.90. And I think that was a little bit more than last year's. So I really have been cashing in. One thing I didn't cash in on this year, unfortunately, was at Boots. Because I mentioned at the start of the episode that by the 3rd of March, I think it was, I hadn't received my double points offer and it didn't arrive at all. Paul got one in February, so I wonder why mine didn't come through in March. I signed up for all their loyalty points and nothing came through at all, so that was a bit disappointing. Well, if you are loyal to us and you haven't yet subscribed, there is still a chance. So please just hit the subscribe button. And if you're feeling extra generous, perhaps you would buy us a coffee to send us on our way along our travels. There is a link in the description. But until next time, bye-bye.